Hey, I'm Kathleen Gamer, and welcome back to PCM21 Career Mode, episode 71. And we have a super interesting race today. It's Latvia, it's the national championships. There are eight riders. I have half of the group. But of my opposition, three of the four are sprinters, or at least sprint capable, and it's a sprint profile. And only one of my four, well, okay, technically two of four are sprinters, uh, but really only one with any sort of chance. And we are very much not even the favorite for the podium. Podium, let alone top step. So it's going to take some tactical work to make this happen. I think we absolutely could. And I think we're going to have to break the other riders by using a couple of my guys to make that happen. So we're going to try to make Igashin to be the one to break them. He's got an okay flat rating, okay stamina, okay resistance. We're looking at 200 kilometers. I'm going to immediately attack with Igashin right off the line here and try to get away and force the others into doing the work. Unfortunately, he has been joined. Oh, he's been joined by the weakest rider, though. That's the one non-sprinter. So actually, this is perfect because he can, he can beat him head to head can absolutely beat him head to head so this could be a perfect scenario uh, Pluto you, no 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 you're not gonna work make them do the work there you go and we want to break those guys down one by one by one now let's hopefully hopefully Belmanis is going to contribute and he is and they're out to 38 seconds but they're being chased let's see how this group does that's already putting these guys to work. If you tire them out, that's going to give us a shot for the other three to maybe do something. There's no way we contribute when we get a man in the break, and that's the whole point. Now, Menis is the perfect man in the break because he's not a threat to Igashin. So if they let these two get far enough away, then I, I bet Igashin can beat Balmanis if they, you know, if they are fighting for a 1-2, fighting for the overall. 50 seconds now. Or we wear their three guys out who are all apparently contributing. So, Nealens, Lipens, Scoins are who we are up against. Let's see, Lipens straight up sprinter, 75-74. 74 on the flat. Not a great stamina or resistance. Nealens is a little slower. He's only got a 70 sprint, but he's got better stamina resistance. He's got a good flat rating. And Scoins, same scenario, much better stamina. But all three of them, you can see, are, are capable. Igashin, not so much. We've opened it to one minute. This is good if they let us get away, especially if they let us get away a lot. Either way, it's going to force them into doing the work that's that's the whole purpose okay check it out our own team you have pluto pluto nice race day condition the stamina resistance are now quite tolerable 70 plus each the sprint also oh, that's manageable 74 really 72 no with today's weather that really helps that he's got that positive race day condition now kelden's overall lacks the flat stamina resistance that would make him good but He's got a 75-76 in the sprint. That makes him extremely capable. And if Pluto is there to lead him out, I like our chances. Berlikov, meanwhile, he's not here for the, the, the race win. He's got some acceleration, but he is not a sprinter. But he has got great stamina resistance today. He's on his fitness peak right now. And that flat at 67 is just about tolerable. There's also that little bit uphill that could give him a, a little advantage to mix things up the way that Igashin is if they bring us back. Meanwhile, we are at a minute and a half now on the gap. I think we could very well be headed towards the type of gap that we need to really open this thing up and make this race pretty straightforward. Now, Menace suddenly not contributing? No, he's okay. Holding at a minute and a half, though. Really like to get that in excess of two minutes, but it is slowly, slowly coming out a little bit further. We're going to need it to. We're, we're going to need them to back off, otherwise these two are going to be out of energy fairly quick. And all we'll have eliminated is the one weak rider who's not, you know, 
not a threat. Anyway, out to a minute 45. Valmanis is struggling. We're about to leave him behind. Minute 50. We sort of have, but it's still counting us as two, so I think he's right. Yeah, just out of screenshot there. We back off a little bit, and he's recovered somewhat. It's down to a minute and a half. But Igashin doesn't have much energy either. He's actually starting to recover now. We've let up a little bit. And these three, they're all working. But how phased are they? How tired are they? I'm guessing not terribly tired. But we'll see. We'll attack with Berlikov next if that group gets caught. Or should I say win? Because at a minute 10, I don't think they're going too far. At least we're getting Igashin to recover. I can attack with Berlikov, keep pressure on those other three guys, and then... Yeah, see that little uphill. That's doing some damage, but Mattis is really struggling. I think he's going to be out the back. You know? It'll be four on three before long. And Igashin's doing just fine. Uh, he's looking pretty dang good. Let me go ahead and get water right now before things happen. Berlikov, you're the workhorse today. Go ahead and get the water. I wonder if I should just try to attack with Berlikov and go Igashin with him. But then, then I'm... Oh, no, no. Alternating. Alternating. I need to keep the pressure on these three. Yes, chasing two is more pressure, but I've got to keep somebody you know, in reserve to alternate and continually keep these guys under pressure. Three can chase down two. Though it is a little harder, isn't it? The tire not that much more. And you attack with Pluto. Might not be a bad idea. Might not be. But it's 144k, so let's wait. Okay, Igashin, you sit up. Go 76. Berlokov, it is your turn. You're coming from the back here, so push a little bit harder on your attack. And we go clear. Now, if we keep pressure on, they could end up dropping down Manus. And that's obviously going to be a very good thing for me. Okay, he's out to 28 seconds and solo. Now, Manus is going to try to recover. That's the downside. I mean, that. That does not help me achieve much. Igashin, though, is certainly going to recover. And continually keeping these guys under pressure and keeping them, forcing them to ride, at some point it's going to wear them out. Right? They'll have less stamina at the end for the, the sprint, or they will just simply... Uh, they'll simply have you know, not enough left in the tank at some point and get dropped. One minute gap for Berlikov. I'm going to ease off just a little bit for longevity's sake, as we want to keep him going away. Though the more he makes an effort right now, is the harder they're going to have to chase to keep him close, keep him at bay, which opens the gap for Igashin to then alternatively attack yet again. So a part of me wants to just kind of keep going, keep the pressure on continually. Hypen's the only one chasing at the moment. Now Manis uh, is very much sitting on and he's looking better than he was. Still sitting on, so he has been in recovery mode. But like I said, alternating with the two and totally resting the other one is putting pressure on, on the group. I think we're still going according to plan right now. Okay, we're going to back off some more with Berlikov. Gap's at a minute 53. I want him to last a little while longer here. I'd rather see him caught but be able to stay in the group, so I don't want to totally run out of energy here. Gap reaches two minutes for the very first time, but it is holding steady at or just below two minutes. Berlikov, though, continues to use up 
just a slight amount of energy. I'm going to back off ever so slightly more. Uh, the gap's opened up a little bit further. How's that chase going? They seem to be struggling a little bit. Right? It's hovering in and out of one or just two guys chasing. It means I think they've used a fair bit of energy. 103k now. Berlikov having great stamina resistance, but not a great flat rate, so it's hard for him to uh, do too much out here. But again, I do not want him to totally go empty. I'd rather slow down and have them slowly gain on me for a while, and then trade off and give Igashin the go. So we've got to back off, get Berlikov under control. Cannot afford to have him dropped when they catch him. The easier it is for them to keep him at bay, also not necessarily a good thing. So we're going to really back off, because that's going to allow them to ride easier. And maybe they recover. I feel like I need to try to attack with Igashin when that gap gets a little bit closer. When they hit the climb, Lipens is the only one working through there. Scoyne seems to be struggling though. He's not contributing much at all anymore. Gap down to a minute 20, but Berlikov is recovering. 83k, Igishin. Go ahead and get water. Down to a minute 10. You can see the work that Igishin has done, his yellow bar. Not returning to max, but Kalnins and Pluto are looking brilliant. And that's the thing. These guys working at the front, even Baumanis, who's done nothing here in the group uh, for a long time and has recovered, he spent enough time in the breakaway that, like Igashin, he's going to be less than full strength. Okay, 30 seconds. 30 seconds and 73k. I, I want to attack now with Igashin. feel like our best chance is from the break and not in a sprint. Though Pluto and Callens have a real oh, shot, a uh, especially with the one-two punch of that where everybody else is solo, no teammates. Uh. Brolikov hanging in there. Igashin has opened that gap, so back off a little bit. He's gotten away from them. And that's putting them under pressure. He'll be able to go on for a long while yet. If I can get Berlikov to recover some, we can then put them together, and then that'll additionally put them under significantly more pressure. But Igashin's going to have to back off a little bit for Berlikov to be able to recover. Out to 45 seconds. Okay, let's do that backing off a bit. See where that puts us. Berlikov... Just a little bit more. 47 seconds, by the way. And Berlikov should start to recover now. You should back off a hair more because it's working. We're out to 50 seconds. And Berlikov's recovering. You lower that effort just slightly, and Berlikov's going to recover that much more. And I'd be able to take over or at least contribute with you before too long. 49k to go. Okay, last time that we're going to need to get water, Pluto, you're the lead out man, so go ahead and take care of that. And then Berlikov, take care of the task for you too. It's down to 25 seconds. That's really now, here's that downside where I don't have the strength that I had. However, we still have a fresh Pluto to attack one last time keep these guys under pressure because they are working way harder now to chase us down than before, but theoretically they're only chasing Igashin and not Berlikov. I can attack with Berlikov when they get too close and use up what he has left and save Pluto for that much longer. 
and then just let Igashin recover in the pack. Gap at 22. I think when it gets down to about 10 or 12 seconds, that's when I will try to attack so that they don't get quite back. 18. Two more times up that little hill. The gap's still there. Berlikov not fully recovered by any means, but he's got a bit left to uh, keep them under pressure for another 10 or 15k anyway. All right. Here's what we do now as they've held off. Polyol switcheroo, Igishin. Try to recover a little bit, Berlikov. It's your turn for a while. Twenty-seven K. So far keeping them at bay, and again just doing enough to keep these guys under constant pressure. In the final kilometers, when I speed up with Pluto, this could be damaging to them, you know? It could be dropping them before the finish line, having putting them in a position where they've got nothing left <clears throat> in the tank. At least hopefully that that would be ideal. In fact, we've opened it to 33 seconds now, so they are not chasing us back effectively. And you can see they are switching off very quickly. Minute accelerations. I think we might have... I think we might have just about broken them now. All right, both of them are in a similar state. Let's put them both in to work at a 70. Can they run away with this thing in 14K? I don't know if they can be caught. Last time up the little hill, gel up for both. Wait for it to kick in and then we're gonna really speed up. 40 seconds. Could we have a one, two? with two non-sprinters. Of course, Berlikov would be getting the jersey. He deserves it. Igashin not staying with the team beyond this, so I'm not going to just give it to him. I'm going to give it to the Berlikov intentionally. I've done the, the opposite stage. in a past year where Berlikov could have won it. Out to 45 seconds. They are pulling away. 9k to go, and we could still get a 1, 2, 3 potentially with Kalnins. But do these two have enough to go the distance? As they are very much pushing towards the end. I can't push much harder than this because of the limitations of how much energy they have left, but I don't think these guys can really catch them. They don't seem to have enough in the tank. They are trying to hold back just a little bit. And you're seeing Lipens make his little accelerations like he wants to sprint and then immediately stop. I think that's because he the does not have enough energy. 50 second gap. Road 4K. Okay. See how he keeps trying to get out of the saddle? And we're seeing it again right here. Squeeze is trying to attack, but he's not going anywhere. Alright, 2.6K for these guys. This is it. Uh, a little late on the gel, but that's okay. Pluto. And then Igashin, 1.9k. So Igashin, we're leading out now. Okay, there goes those three, given their all for the final push. Uh, Pluto. Pluto, you need to sprint. Okay, and Berlikov, this is 800 meters, so you need to sprint, Igashin. Okay, now Igashin, 400 meters. Kalman's 800 meters. Can you guys overtake them? Berlikov is going to win this, and it is a 1-2. Igashin, I don't know, I might have left it a little late for Kalman's. I did. 
I left it a little late. I was a little too focused on the front two, and that that's why I don't like breakaways, by the way. I, I try to avoid breakaways. It's really hard to manage both at the same time without really, really micromanaging it, meaning pause, 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 pause. I don't like to pause for the pacing with, with the channel. I think... I think majority of you would get bored very quickly if I was pausing constantly trying to get those minute details like having uh, Pluto and Countenance perfectly set up for that sprint. Now, if I was only focused on them, we would have perfectly been set up for that but because I was back and forth with Berlikov and Igishin. That was the case. But as close as the back group was getting, I was a little more attentive to the front to make sure that Berlokov comes away with the win, and not so much on what happens with third place. But we did the important piece of that. We got Berlokov the win, and still managed to get Igashin across the line for second. Lithuania Stalionis is the only proper sprinter here in the country. And we have a serious advantage in terms of, what, Four opposition riders but this time I have six instead of four so we have 60% of the field I think we're gonna have an easier time pulling off the same thing that I wanted to do last time the obvious thing here is to get two riders in the break and put pressure on these guys so who to send clear well Stelion is the obvious guy that we ride for as he's got a 76 sprint not very good in the other categories stamina the resistance are all low but he's got a plus one race day condition so he's okay uh, who to lead him out? Look, she has a little bit of pace, though he is very weak. Otherwise, but Narbutas is weak. We're going to send him forward. A little bit to push clear. Uh, Razanaukas. Maybe we attack Lugo. Lugo for sure. And then Rhea Bovis. I'm going to try to send three guys clear and just really put them under pressure. Can I get three men up the road? They're going to send he's one, but it's going to force the other two to chase. Who's the one? Oh, he's weak. Oh, I love that idea. Uh, okay, you two. Okay, 74. Wait for Nobutas to get there. Okay, we have four guys at the front. I think we would have no problem. No problem dealing with uh, this man here. And you could eliminate all three of these ones. And then if they do ever get back, Stalionis should have an easy time beating them. Okay, we do not want to be on auto, though. I do not want them to accidentally think that they could do something and contribute. And Bruzas right now, committed to getting away. He likes his chances much better with the three of us, knowing that he could get crushed, but that he could absolutely get on the podium where here... He's the weakest of ten riders. There, he's the weakest of four. And would have a real shot at the podium because he, he knows eventually will contribute. So this is nice because he wants to contribute right now. 25 second gap. Uh, and look how hard these guys are chasing. Our 76 is blinking. Which is why he's working so hard right now. Which I'm happy because he could totally exhaust himself on the front. And then the three of us could just ride away with him oh, behind really and no blow the today, field but... up. I could use these three up, and then these three could ride away on their own with everybody else totally exhausted. Or maybe I could link up my six and leave everybody else in the dust, or four or five of them anyway. Okay, they are on the verge of catching us, though. So let's push a little harder, try to keep them away, because I'm really happy with the uh, current situation. Because look, out of 79 and sitting on, look at the fatigue these three have. Guaranteed, the others have a lot of fatigue too. And because Bruzas put in Bruzaz, I think? Bruzaz? Sure. Uh, he's got to have quite a bit of fatigue already by this point because he was riding solo in 80-something territory where we were kind of just sitting on. It is back together, but... Uh, let's take those three and uh, let's keep this pressure on because this is going brilliantly. Immediately they attack. Okay, 10 seconds, 13 seconds. That's that's good. Okay. Back to relay. Back to relay. Don't burn too much energy. And immediately put these guys back under uh, pressure. And you can see Bruges 
is struggling. Look at those bobbing shoulders side to side like that already. He could get dropped if these guys chase hard. If they don't chase hard, we're going to open up a pretty sizable gap. 28 seconds and counting. 130k and counting. Gap is slowly opening. Check in here. I'd love to see Brujaz dropped early. Again, they lose firepower, and that makes us that much better. He's not going to recover if they're chasing hard. And same thing when a second guy goes, and then all of a sudden you have two chasing three. And meanwhile, I've got three that are slowly recovering and prepped and ready, and Luxies and Razanalkis, if they get caught, could immediately attack and keep the pressure on. Out to a minute. Backing off a little bit. Longevity now starting to be a goal and aim, but keeping these guys under heavy pressure so that they're fading and breaking, falling apart, is ideal. Remember, I still have more cards up my sleeve. I still have two guys that I can use to keep this on. I mean, it should be a foregone conclusion that we win this thing, but you have to be aggressive. You have to be smart. Don't be overly conservative. Conservative. But at 37, the gap. Razanalkis, you're the weak man here. Go get water. And let's go ahead and get some water here as well. Oh, these three. These three are pretty much toast. Let's back off. And at 49, gap. It's okay if they come back at us, but they're going to have to keep chasing to do that. I think I could just about attack with all three of these guys and leave them behind and then make it a team of six chase it, getting away from them. But it's better to break them first, split them up before we do something like that. So let them keep working to come back at us and then just attack with the next two. Where these guys will then be trying to recover. Are you above us, you're in the best shape. Go ahead and get water. And at 50. So the gap is actually holding. I think I could just about attack with my three guys and leave them behind. If they start closing in on those front three, we attack and we leave them behind. So let's back off a little bit. Our boot dust. I'd have him sit on, but that's that's dangerous. I'm in a weird place because it's I want those three to recover, but I don't. I want to keep these guys under pressure so that these three fresh riders can just ride away from them. And then the six of us can go clear. Those three can sit on where these three lead, and those guys chase without energy. So let it get back to 30, 40 seconds, and then all three of these guys attack. And let's see who can keep up. <laughs> And then as soon as the groups together, if you know, if one or two of them go with us, then we attack again. Until we've left them all behind. A rider just launched an attack. Okay, Venkis on the attack. I think now's the time. These three go join him. Let's we'll see if we can leave those other guys behind. Okay, we've already left. We've already left the back three. Let's see what kind of chasing can they do? Can they chase at all? And let Mr. Uh, Venkis ride solo for a little bit. Ride a little harder. Don't let them get back on. Slowly burn these guys out. Don't give them any firepower. Don't let them come back. They're, they've got to be riding harder than we are at this point to do any chasing. So ride just that little bit harder. Okay, nope. They're back. Attack. 
attack again. Right away, right away, open Break a gap. Away. Okay, back to relay. Still out in front. Gotta watch when that guy catches, they sit on. He's caught them. No reason for us to ride at the moment. These three are going to take over here shortly. Again, attack. Who can we leave behind? A small group of riders are trying to get clear of the bunch. Ooh, I had all three. Why did it switch? Okay. Hopefully these guys can sit on, otherwise we're going to have to allow some recovery to happen. And then reset everything. Nope, we got to reset everything. Everybody just sit on. Everybody just sit on. Uh, not everybody sit on, you two. Go clear. Back to the original plan. Keep the pressure on. These two, it's their turn to ride away for a while. There we go. You're clear. Work on opening their gap. Okay, the bad side here is Venkis has gone with them. No surprise by the effort, but he's not a sprinter, so it's okay. Oh, hey, we are down to 36k to go. Wow, that happened fast. Venkis trying to ride on. No, we're back together with him. He does not want to work. Not a fan of that. In fact, not a fan of that. Sit up. He doesn't want to contribute. And these guys are sitting on mostly. Let it come back together. Okay. Let's get water. Stellionis, we're saving you for the sprint. Again, all of this work is doing a ton of murdering of the legs. You can see some of these guys are really struggling at the back. Let's get the water thing taken care of. Uh, I'm going to recover a lot faster than they are, and I'm not going to wait till I fully recover because they are going to recover as well. Elvis, can you, you know, actually make an effort to get water to your teammates? Okay, water's done. Here we go again. Reset, retool, reattack. 30k. It's an attack! Look, she's going to go into relay. And I've caught him. Go into relay. And you two try to ride away from these guys. Destroy them. Destroy these puny humans. They have recovered a little bit. So did they. But these two that have gone away have uh, put them under continual pressure. You can see the struggles. You can see that this is a hard chase. And that they don't really want to contribute. 22 second gap. 24 second gap. 24k. Starting to open up a little bit. Back off some because we need to make ourselves able to go a little ways. But again, continual attacks. The next, the next, the next. And then we set up that sprint from Stellionis. 45 second gap. Back off some more. Look, she's you are on your last wit. Wit's end. Go ahead and use that gel. 17k to go. Now to a minute. They are struggling to chase. The finish line is getting close. The riders have just passed the 15 kilometers. 15k. Run time. But Razanaukis is going to have to ride clear here shortly. These guys do not have the ability to go the distance. Out to a minute four, though. If we back off some, they might be able to uh, go as long as they need to. I think I could just about ride these guys off my wheel here in a second, and you can see how they're literally trying to attack and they can't. They don't have any energy left. So let's think about gels 
Uh, Narbutas, not a sprinter. Gel up now. Rehobovis, gel up now. Only 10 kilometers left. Who deserves this thing? Who am I keeping for next year? I don't know. Um, do they both have expiring contracts? Raz is weak. We want Lukshis to win if we get the choice, but he does not have the energy with the heat. 8k to go. Uh, Razanelkis, use your gel. It's weird because I think I need to sit on and just force these guys to blow themselves up and then go in the final few k after it's, you know, foregone conclusion. 6k, Lukshis about to drop. The riders are entering the last five kilometers of the stage. How close are they? They're they're a good K up the road comparatively. Razanakis is gonna have to keep riding. Four and a half K. Okay, final gels for those two. And let's get them in order. So we're ready. Wait, who did I just so Luco? Bovis, Ibutas, get in order, and here we go. 3k. Two point four sprint Arbutas. One point five. We got these guys beat hand down. Razanaukis. I wanted Luke Shees. I wanted Luke Shees. Follow him. <laughs> Follow him. Rehobovis coming over the top. Luco. Stalionis. I don't think Stalionis is going to get there. Lukšić takes the win. Razanaukis takes second. Stalionis wins the sprint against his teammate. A one, two, three, four, five, six. <laughs> okay, I'll take it. I'll take it. A one through six. Holy cow, we made that work to perfection. We literally took all of the top six placings, and I just got my sprinter through to at least win. The sprint, where I also claimed the breakaway. Damn. Oh, that felt good. All right, well, uh, that already used up all my time. I am not going to be focusing heavily on national championships. It's going to be a quick sim, quick sim, quick sim thing here, because you know what's next? Or at least right around the corner. I think it's next. The Tour de France. Tour. We're in the tour. Still Conti Pro, but I mean, come on. We just won the Giro. It could happen. Might not happen. Brolikov's definitely not going to be in the best of way, but we're bringing all three of our champions again because we're not in La Vuelta. So no divide and conquer. It's just bully up, buddy up, conquer. Uh, we'll see, though. I, I do not want to get a big head. Uh, Let's keep our expectations to, you know, top five, podium. There very well could be better riders, better competitors, better strategy from our opposition. Uh, I'm not going to have a bunch of guys on Fitness Peak like I had last time to set up Berlikov, who himself wasn't on Fitness Peak. And remember, we had some decent draws. Martin Guerrero had a terrible time with that, and it cost him dearly. If Berlikov has a terrible time in the tour, expectations whoosh, come way down. I'm Cathlon Gamer. Like, comment, subscribe. See you next time. Have a good one. Be safe out there. Bye for now.